what's going on guys it's brown with some men's comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video i'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out wednesday august 14th 2019. to me this is one of the lighter week of comics but there are still some great titles coming out so with that being said let's get into the picks we kick this off with issue number two of an epic crossover event between dark horse and DC Comics, and we're talking about Black Hammer Justice League number two. I enjoyed the first issue, so I'm definitely gonna pick up the second one. There's a regular Mike Walsh cover, a regular price Jill Thompson variant, a regular price Ann Bertram variant, a regular price Tedesco variant, and a regular price Matteo Scalera variant. I love Tedesco and Scalera, so if I can, I'll probably pick both of those up, but I'm definitely picking up issue number two of this title. Getting into DC books this week, we have Catwoman number 14. There's a secret file floating around in the underground. Everyone's out to get it because whoever owns this file owns all the power. Selena Kyle's involved, but to make things more dangerous, she has a price on her head. So everyone that's hunting for this file is also hunting for her. This is gonna have two covers for it. There's a regular Joel Jones cover, but there's also a regular priced art germ variant. As much as I've had some art germ fatigue, these Catwoman covers as of late have been gorgeous, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Event Leviathan number three. This is the ongoing epic event from DC Comics right now. I personally think a lot of people are sleeping on this. I love this story, but not only that, we've talked about it on the Bolo Show. If you haven't watched that, make sure you check that out. Jack also mentioned this in his long-term play, and I tend to agree with him. I think this is gonna be an event that's gonna set things up further down the DC universe, so it's definitely worth picking up. And it's a low buy-in at cover price, which there are two covers for. We have a regular cover by Alex Maleev, and there's a regular price variant for this as well. I tend to like the regular cover on this more, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Flash number 76. This is the start of a brand new story arc. We just ended the year one story arc. If you haven't read that, I recommend you go back and read those. It was issues 71 through 75. Great story, but number 76 starts off the story arc for Death of the Speed Force. And it's gonna have two covers for it as well. We have a regular cover by Rafael Sandoval, as well as a regular price Year of the Villain variant by Yasmin Putri. Lastly for DC this week, I have Wonder Woman number 76 in this list. I think this is a great title more so for reading than any type of speculation. We all know the new Wonder Woman 1984 movie's coming. We all know the villain in that's gonna be Cheetah. This current story arc for Wonder Woman heavily heavily has cheetah in it as the villain so i think this is going to be a good prime a good builder up to that wonder woman 1984 especially for those readers that aren't familiar with this villain but this is a great title it's going to have her in it and it's going to have two covers for it we have a regular jesus marino cover as well as a regular price jenny friesen cover i like the jenny friesen on this mostly which is very subtle but you have cheetah's hand coming in from the side and I think that's phenomenal. Plus, huge fan of Jenny Friesen. Turns out a lot of people are right now, so that comic won't be hard to find. I think it's gonna be a great read, and that's why it's on the list this week. Next, getting into IDW. This is probably one of my favorite indie titles to read right now, and we're talking about Road of Bones number four. Absolutely love this title. Each issue keeps getting better. If you haven't been reading it, I highly recommend you do, unless you don't like violent comics or somewhat I won't say horror, but more supernatural, but takes place in 1950s Siberia, escaping a gulag and the Road of Bones, which is a real life thing. If you're not familiar, Road of Bones is the true, it, it exists out there from people that escaped or that road leading up to that gulag. But either way, fantastic read, unless you do not like violent comics because there's definitely some violence in here but it's in a good way and I enjoy it. So you should definitely read it and move it on. Getting into image this week, we get Reaver number two. First issue came out, escalated on the secondary market. Issue number two, interesting to see if it can hold up that momentum that issue number one had. A lot of people were divisive on the interior art for issue number one. I thought it was okay. I enjoyed the story. So I'm ready to pick up issue number two and it's coming out this week. Another great story we got coming out from Image this week is Sonata number three. First issue I really enjoyed, second issue and I was kind of eh on, but my philosophy is always pick a comic up through the first arc to make sure you really like it or don't like it. So number three is coming out this week and it's gonna have two different covers for it. We have a regular cover by Brian Haberlin as well as a regular price variant by Brian Haberlin. Next, we have a mini series launching from 
Chip Zdarsky, Daredevil and writer himself, amongst writing and drawing of many other great titles. But Daredevil right now is the one that comes to mind because it's one of my favorite titles to read. But White Trees number one, written by Chip Zdarsky, art by Chris Anka. This is going to be a two issue miniseries. I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, miniseries don't hold value. This story looks fantastic. It's about three warriors. They've had battles, they've had all the glory. Time has settled down. But now, years later, their children go missing. So now the three come back together to find their kids. I'm in for this. Two issue miniseries or not. Chip Zdarsky writing, Chris Anka art. Definitely gonna be a great book, so I'm picking it up. Next, we get into the land of mini covers per issue, and I'm talking about Marvel. That's right. And kicking off Marvel this week, we get Absolute Carnage, Scream number one. Patricia Robinson, years ago, was unwillingly attached to the clone villain and became Mania. And if you've read Absolute Carnage number one, Carnage is coming after all the symbiote codexes. So of course, he's coming after her. This is gonna have six different covers. We have a regular Gerardo Sandoval cover. We get a regular price connecting variant by Mark Bagley. A regular price Young Guns variant by Russell Dodderman. We get a one in 25 incentive variant by Mike Allred. There's also a one in 50 incentive variant by Ryan Brown, as well as an incentive virgin variant by Ryan Brown. It's been a lot of buzz on this book. A lot of people are looking to pick it up. So I'm at least picking up the regular cover. If I can find one of those ratio variants for cheap, I'm definitely picking that up as well. Next, we get Age of Conan Valeria number one. Huge fan of the Conan titles. Love Conan the Barbarian. Love and Savage Sword of Conan. Age of Beelit, eh, but I've still been reading it. Excited to pick this one up. Valeria, a character that comes out of the original Conan writer, Robert E. Howard's story, Red Nails, getting her own comic series, and this is gonna have three different covers for it. We got a regular cover, a regular price action figure variant by John Tyler Christopher, and a one in 25 Red Nails incentive variant by Terry Dotson. Me, I love that regular cover the best, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Captain Marvel number nine, this is, FOMO at its peak, issue eight came out, introduced first appearance of villain, star, issue nine's coming out because it'd be the first true appearance. I'm no doubt that debate will go on. People are expecting that. So issue number nine, no doubt, is sold out and it's got three different covers for it. We have a regular cover by Mark Brooks, a regular price bring on the bad guys variant by JG Jones, and a Marvel 80th frame and a regular price Marvel 80th frame variant by John Tyler Christopher. Also, just in case if you're wondering what FOMO means, it stands for fear of missing out. Next this week from Marvel, we have Gwenpool Strikes Back. So Gwenpool, one character that was really popular a few years ago, each time a series comes out or a cover comes out, it is a popular character. So I'm anxious to see how this series goes. There are six different covers for this. We have a regular cover by Terry Dodson. There's a regular price variant by Logan Lubera. There's also another regular price variant as well as an incentive variant by Emanuela Lupacino. There's also an incentive variant by Amanda Connor and an incentive variant by Chris Bacciolo. My favorite out of all of them is actually that incentive, that one in 25 Lupacino variant. If I can get that, I'll definitely be picking it up. Next up, we get Miles Morales, Spider-Man number nine. Now, if I'm being honest, this book right here is probably one of my favorite Spider-Man stories to read right now. Last issue is really fantastic. Miles is being tested for these trials, and if he doesn't pass the trials, the villain is gonna go after everyone he knows, his friends, his family, and start taking him out. So Miles is under the pressure and under the gun to not only pass these trials, but to succeed in the mission. And this issue has him trying to escape the villain. It's gonna have a regular cover by Patrick O'Keefe, as well as a regular price Marvel 80th frame variant by Pasquale Ferry. Powers of X number two. Jonathan Hickman sure seems to have a hit on his hand between House of X, Powers of X, but this book is growing as fast as Microcoa Seeds. We're gonna have a regular cover by R.B. Silva, a regular price connecting variant by Yasmin Putri, a regular price action figure variant by John Tyler Christopher, regular price decades variant by Patrick Zercher, regular price new character variant by Dustin Weaver, regular price Scotty Young variant, regular price Mike Huddleston variant, as well as an incentive R.B. Silva Virgin variant. Now real quick before we get further into the picks, if you're enjoying this video right now and you're liking the picks, please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button for me. It means a lot to me. And with that being said, let's get back into the picks. Next this week, coming from the author that makes gold at everything he writes, and we're talking about Donny Cates with Silver Surfer Black number three. This is gonna have three different covers for it this week. It's gonna have the regular Trad Moore cover, 
a regular price Ron Lim variant, and a 1 in 25 Encina variant by Bangle. And coming in next this week is definitely my pick of the week. This comes from Boom Studios. We had Arun, the VP of Marketing from Boom Studios, on this channel for multiple interviews, and we talked about Once in Future number one. Really got hopped on this book during that interview, been waiting patiently, but now it's finally here. And the good thing is, there's just one cover for it, mostly. I really think we got Kieran Gillen writing. If you've read, if you've read any of his books, fantastic. Writes die. There's a reason why that book's going crazy right now. But Kieran Gillen and art by Dan Mora, the one cover. But be on the lookout. Each store is getting a specific thank you variant, which is already selling for $200 on the secondary market and just continues to rise. There's also that diamond preview edition. So if you can get that, either of those, mostly the book is only being published with one cover minus those two caveats. So once in future, looks like a great read and my pick of the week. And sticking with Boom Studios this week, next up we have Go Go Power Rangers number 22. There's another title we've talked about on that interview with the Rune Singh from Boom Studios. But if you aren't reading it and you're reading the regular Power Rangers, Go Go Power Rangers ties into the Necessary Evil storyline. And it's gonna have four different covers for it, including the regular cover by Ivan Chavron. There's a regular price pre-order variant by Miguel Mercado. Also a regular price variant by Joanna the Mad, as well as an incentive variant for this title. That's right. It is an homage to NSYNC, one of the best boy bands in the world. Either way, great cover. I'm going for that incentive variant. We saw the No Doubt homage a couple weeks ago. This one's a an homage to NSYNC, I'm gonna be picking that up. Next, from Ahoy Comics, we get Second Coming number two, the controversial book that was canceled and then picked up from Ahoy Comics. Jesus, helping out a superhero, but enjoyed the first issue, definitely picking up the second one. And that's Second Coming number two from Ahoy Comics. Also this week from Mad Cave Studios, we have Show's End number one. This is a brand new series. Really looking forward to this. And if I'm not mistaken, which I often have been, this looks to be the first title that's not written by Mark London. Show's End looks like a fantastic read. I've been enjoying the solicits, all the preview information I could find out on it. Mad Cave Studios have been writing fantastic stories. Honor and Curse, Knights of the Golden Sun, Battle Cats, the list goes on. But this is their new series, new entry into their catalog. Show's End number one definitely picking it up. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. As I always say, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. Also, like I said before, if you're enjoying this video, I'd be really, really honored if you click that thumbs up button for me. Also, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification because we're always dropping new comic and pop culture related content on this channel. But now, Question of the day. Rumors keep circulating that we're going to be getting Moon Knight into the Marvel Cinematic Universe or TV show. Question is, who would you like to see cast in that role? There's been a bunch of rumors from Keanu to Andrew Garfield. Who would you like to see play Moon Knight? Make sure you comment that down below. This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week. <music>